How lovely is this day, and so does the ambience surrounding it. I, Dhruv Sau, a final year law student, welcome you all on behalf of the Center of Comparative and International Taxation. It is with immense pleasure I welcome our guest for the day, CA Dr. Girish Ahuja sir, Sandeep Garg sir, Sunita Kakar ma'am from the commercial publications. Without taking much of your time, permit me to start this session. To begin this event orderly, I would like to introduce the audience to our guest for the day. CA Dr. Girish Ahuja sir, sir, although you do not need any introduction, but it is indeed customary that I introduce you to this audience. Dr. Ahuja is a distinguished and highly respected figure in the field of finance and taxation in India. With a profound expertise in chartered accountancy and wealth of knowledge in tax laws, he has invaluable contribution to the financial landscape of the country. His commitment to simplifying complex financial concepts and his dedication to promoting tax compliances have earned him a stellar reputation in the realm of finance. That is why he is rightly referred to as Guruji of the fraternity of tax professionals. He completed his chartered accountancy in the year of 1970 and was a rank holder both in the intermediate and the final examination of ICI. His academics also include graduation and post-graduation from SRCC Delhi University. Furthering his academics, he earned a PhD from the Faculty of Management Studies, Delhi University, in 2009. His professional journey is equally impressive and spanning over four decades at Sri Ram College of Commerce, where he served as faculty before his retirement in 2011. It, he was an integral part of the drafting of the income tax as a, uh, as a member of the Government of India's Task Force. Sir, we are blessed to have you here. We have Sandeep Garg, sir, and Sunita Gakkar, ma'am, from the commercial publications team. And we are equally blessed to have them in, her, in, in this house, as this is the, one of the, those publication house which has been an integral part of our career up to now, this point of time and definitely in the future as well. We also have Professor C.A. Kriti Chavla with her C.A. degree and LLM in International Taxation from King's University. She's having over a decade of experience in the industry and academics, and we are blessed to have her as the director of CCIT. With her sitting right next to her, Professor Sana Javed with her LLM in International Taxation from Queen's Mary University and a long experience in industry and academics, we are fortunate enough to have her as the Assistant Director of CCIT. Now please allow me to throw some light on our center. This center works under the aegis of the Jindal Global Law School and this center has given us a great opportunity and a wonderful chance to experience such professionals in this auditorium. So I feel proud and blessed to have your all presence in this room. Now, moving to one of the most exciting part of this day is the book launch. So I'm honored and delighted on this prestigious occasion and the launch of a remarkable book that promises to be a guiding light for students and learners in the complex world of income tax. As we gather here to celebrate the release of Principle of Taxation of Law, authored by none other than renowned expert C. Dr. Giri Shahuja, and co-authored by Dr. Ravi Gupta and Professor Kriti Chavla. <laughs> Dr. Ahuja is a synonymous with expertise in taxation, who has poured his vast experience and wisdom into this book, which is very evident from the shining pages of the book. And Dr. Ravi Gupta and Professor Kriti Chavla, as co-authors, have contributed their valuable insights, making this book a comprehensive resource for students and anyone seeking clarity of income tax matters. Without further ado, let us proceed with the official launch for the principle of taxation law, for which I invite Professor Sana Javed to the podium. May this book light the path towards financial enlightenment for who all seek it.
dignitaries, of course, the professor sitting here, Professor Kriti Chavla, Sana Javeji, sitting in front of me, Professor Mayank Suri, Professor Adyanti Agarwalji, both are the text faculty, of course. The moderator, Dhruv was here, Dhruv Sahu, and of course, our publisher from commercial, commercial that Mr. Sadeep Garg and uh, Sunita Ji, the coordinator of the Ordnance Program, ladies and uh, friends. Well, let me tell you, I remember we had written one book long back on text law relating to, of course, this course. But Kriti came to us, said, no, this doesn't work. This doesn't work. There is, there is many things missing from this book. We have a different course. We would like to have in, those things included in our book. I said, Kriti, it is your job. Please do it. You, are, you be the one of the authors and bring whatever amendments you want to bring. So we have given free hand to her, and she has really done a good job. When you read the book, and she worked very, very hard in bringing this edition so fast. So big hand, of course, to her. She has covered everything which is, a, which is in your course. Besides, of course, the other institutions, of course, whether it is MIT or all over India, everything is included. So she has become one of the authors with us. And bright future for her. Sara kaam yehi karegi, mein kyo karunga? Let's hope, let's hope. What happens, what, how do we work together? A bright chartered accountant, of course, bright uh, company secretary also she is. Besides that, you have already known her. I need not say anything to you. I can see the faces, how appreciative the faces are when they, I'm talking about Kriti Chavla. Of course, Sana is also there. I have met her first time, but I heard a lot, lot of things about her. So good luck to both of them. And of course, to us also, because if, she say, if this book sells, we also sell along with that. So thank you very much. I'll come to my topic a little later. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, it has been a pleasure being here in front of you, all of you. And uh, I've been associated with Mr. Girish Oja for uh, last so many years. And he was actually doing a book for CA earlier. We were not having any specific book for law students. So two years back, I asked him to write a book for LLB students also. Because see, LLB students were using only the book which was used for CA students. So I wanted a book which is specially for LLB students. So he actually took my request, and he wrote a book for, especially for LLB students. Last year, I met Kriti. She told me, sir, in this book, there are some chapters which are missing, which are covered in my uh, Jindal University. So I asked her, Madam, why don't you help us? She told me, sir, I'm ready to help if Giri Shauja, sir, permits. I asked Giri Shauja, sir. He was so humble, he says, Anything which, is, which improves the quality of the book is always welcome. Thereafter, Kriti Madam has given her a lot of input in the book, and I feel now the book is complete in syllabus and should be a very useful book for the students. Thank you. I'd like to start um, at first, um, you know, I'd like to express gratitude towards uh, Dr. Ahuja, Dr. Gupta, uh, Sunita Ma'am, and Sandeep Sir, and the entire team at Commercials for bringing this together and also for giving me this opportunity to uh, write this particular uh, book. Um, as far as, uh, you know, my academic career in tax law is concerned, we've always used books that were there for CA students, as they also mentioned, for CS students, and we sort of adapted it to, uh, you know, the course for law students. Now, this particular gap was needed to be filled, and so we've come up with this particular book, and this is, uh, you know, 
this is covering syllabus and this is specifically curated for uh, BA LLB, BBA LLB and LLB students uh, of major universities, almost all the Indian universities that we have. The book is um, very, very, very comprehensive in the sense that it does not just cover direct taxes, but it also covers indirect taxes and international tax. The focus has been um, you know, to go less on numericals, and we've tried to focus a lot on um, uh, you know, the concept as such, and also judicial decisions as they relate to the three areas in you know, the direct tax, indirect tax, and international tax as well. So if you get your hands uh, you know, onto the book, that you must. Uh, uh, you will see towards the end of the book, we've retained a chapter. We've actually made a chapter which talks about the gist of landmark judicial decisions. So this is where we've actually summarized a lot of judicial decisions as they relate to direct taxes, indirect taxes, and um, you know international taxes. Um, uh, apart from this, um, I'd uh, you know also like to express this is very interesting that the team right here has actually chosen OP Jindal Global University for the launch of this academic publication, and I'm so absolutely proud of it, and I'm very sure that you guys are also equally excited about it. So a big round of applause for that. Thank you so much. Thanks a lot. Thank you, Professor Kriti. That was very helpful. I think the issue that we now face in classes where students are asking me how much to study from this book, or we're really scared of all the numericals given in the books, because they're basically for CAs, I think that is that would be solved with this book. So thank you so much for having this book. Uh, without further ado, I would now like to call upon Dr. Girish Ahuja to start with the lecture. So let me tell you, friends. Taxation, everybody knows is a difficult subject. Why it is difficult? Because of chartered accountants only. They make law, we find loopholes in the law. That is there, I'm telling you. The law is made, and of course, at one time, this income tax was this size. Now you know how much big is this? How many sections are there in the Income Tax Act? Anybody, any idea? Any idea? Uh, any, any wild guess? Wild guess? How much? How many sections are there? Wild guess. Whatever you want. Huh? Five twenty-two. Five twenty-two. Google dekh raha hai na? Abhi dekh lega. He will come out with that. He will say section two uh, uh, two ninety-eight sections. Am I right? Am I right? Have you seen? No, no. See, you can see, sir. There is no wrong in it. If you look up, there are only 298 sections, but it is absolutely wrong. There are more than 550 sections in Income Tax Act. They are not 298, but if you look up the Act, you will see the last section is 298. What is the reason? The reason is, let me tell you, you have a chapter on salary. There are only three sections for the salary, section 15, 16, 17. 18, 19, 20, 21 for, sex, for securities which are not there at the moment. Sections 22 to 27 are for house property, right, sir? 28 to 44 is for business and profession. 45 to 55 is for capital gain. 56 to 59 is for other sources. And then clubbing of income, 60 onwards and all that. Now, if you want to bring any amendment in business chapter, a business portion, what will you do? You can't go to 27 because it is booked already for house property. You can't go beyond 44 because it is already booked for capital gain. Then what will you do? 44. Let's say if it is 44, I start with 44 capital A. Whenever there is capital, it is a separate section. Then 44 double A, 44 AB, 44 AD, 44 AE, Fir bhool gaye. A court done that 44 ADA. I mean, what is this point? 44 AD, 44 ADA, 44 AE, 44 F, 44 G, 44 B, 44 B, A, B, 44 AC, 44 AD, 44 D, 44 D. You have to D, A, D, B, these subsections. Section 35. Now, section 35, 
35 कैपिटल ए 35 ए सी थर्टी फाइव ए डी थर्टी फाइव ए ई ये सारे सेक्शंस हैं ऑल सेक्शंस आर देयर सेक्शन 115 यू थिंक दैट 115 वन सेक्शन देन देर इज सेक्शन 115 कैपिटल ए देन केम सेक्शन 115 कैपिटल डबल ए 115 ए बी 115 ए सी 115 ए डी 115 ए ई फिर आया 115 ए बी 115 डबल बी 115 बी बी ए वन फिफ्टीन ट्रिपल बी वन फिफ्टीन बी बी सी वन फिफ्टीन बी बी डी वन फिफ्टीन बी बी डी ए वन फिफ्टीन बी बी ई डी ए भी है था बी बी ई सर सेक्शन वन फिफ्टीन बी तक जा चुके हैं हम हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टीन वी जेड तो पास ही है तो उसका बाद में क्या होगा कहते कुछ नहीं हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टीन जेड ए जेड बी जेड सी दिस इज द पोजिशन वट वी हैव इन अवर इनकम टैक्स एक्ट and why this has become difficult i have told you the the person who are practicing in the law even the charter what i am not talking about charter accountant the, these people are litigated lawyers are there but they are at the top level at high court level at supreme court level they are managing we are not allowed to appear beyond of course itat only the lawyers are allowed to appear after that so they are also there but we find loopholes in the law and to plug that loopholes we have to come out with amendments and we have brought so many sections sir section to theek hai lekin one section aapko padhna ho it may take three i uh, mean three hours also sometime there is one section which talks about let me tell you kya hota hai section after section what is that i am talking about any law not income tax law section ke baad kya hota hai what is the after the section yeah all of you know ha huh? ye yeah. They have jumped to supervisor section. के बाद sub section. After sub section, clause. After sub clause, नहीं sub clause. तब भी complete नहीं है. After sub clause, कोई बता दे चलो. After sub clause, anyone? Ninety nine point nine percent don't know. There can be item after sub clause. and after item there is sub item after first sir tab bhi complete nahi hai provided that uske bare mein main baat baat karunga let us come to first point when there is a section and there is a sub section sub section talks about the main section then after sub section there is a clause clause will talk about that particular sub section jis sub section ke niche clause hoga wo sub section ki baat karega now after clause there can be sub clause that sub clause we talk about that clause after sub clause there is item that item we talk about that sub clause and after there is sub item there is sub item that we talk about the item and still it is not complete provided that aata hai na provided that provided further that there is section 10 clause 23c which has 23 provisos kitne proviso 23 provisos somebody says please look into 14th proviso it is not written there 14th proviso no nothing is written there are only two things any law you read whenever there is provided that it means first proviso i'm telling you something about the law reading whenever you find provided that wherever under any law provided that means first proviso नेक्स्ट इज प्रोवाइडेड फर्दर दैट इट इज सेकेंड प्रोवाइज उसके बाद मत पूछना क्योंकि प्रोवाइडेड ऑल्सो दैट थर्ड प्रोवाइज फोर्थ प्रोवाइज प्रोवाइडेड ऑल्सो दैट फिफ्थ प्रोवाइज प्रोवाइड ऑल्सो दैट कीप ऑन एडिंग ऑल्सो प्रोवाइज कैन कम इन जैसे आई थैंक कृति आई थैंक सनाज आई ऑल्सो थैंक आई ऑल्सो थैंक आई ऑल्सो थैंक बाइंक सूरी तो ये ऑल्सो जितने लगा के उतने प्रोवाइज हो जाते सो फोर्टीन प्रोवाइजो कैसे देखोगे हाउ विल यू सी दैट फोर्टीन प्रोवाइजो यू विल हैव टू ओपन द एक्ट सी प्रोवाइडेड दैट वन प्रोवाइडेड फर्दर दैट टू नाउ यू विल हैव टू नंबर देयर फर्स्ट ऑल्सो थर्ड नेक्स्ट ऑल्सो फोर्थ नेक्स्ट ऑल्सो फिफ्थ नेक्स्ट ऑल्सो सिक्स सो कीप ऑन एडिंग नंबर देयर एंड इफ यू हैव टू लुक अ फोर्टीन प्रोवाइजो यू विल टेक दैट टाइम to need this is 14 provisor or by chance one else also is missing i missed you are gone 
that means you are shifting to 15th verse. So be careful. This is there. And still it is not complete. Still it is not complete. After that, there is explanation one, explanation two, explanation three, explanation four. Fir yaad aaya galti ho gayi. Or add karna tha. Explanation three A, explanation three A B, then explanation four, explanation five. You are looking for full stop. The comma is after six line in income tax act. After six line, you will find comma. Or or to or sir nahi. Maine kisi स्टूडेंट को बोला चार्ट अकाउंटेंट आई सर यू मस्ट रीड वन सेक्शन एवरी डे सर वॉट आर यू टॉकिंग इनकम टैक्स एट नो बडी कैन लर्न इट इज वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू रीड इट इट इज वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू अंडरस्टैंड आई सर माइंड इट आई एम टेलिंग यू एडवाइजिंग यू बिकॉज यू आर गोइंग फॉर लिटिगेशन एंड ऑल दैट प्लीज स्टार्ट रीडिंग वन सेक्शन फ्रॉम द एक्ट नॉट द बुक एक्ट इज एट यू आर सेंग After three hours, he rings me up, sir. What happened, sir? It has taken me three hours to read that section. I said, "No problem." He hands me. He said, "Look, sir, listen to me." I said, "Sir, last line was that it is not applicable from assessment year 2010-11. <laughs> We don't know whether that section is applicable or not." I said, "I told you, whenever you read, first go to the last line to find out whether it is applicable or not. It might has been deleted." But it is still there. For ten years, fifteen years, it has to be there. So be careful whenever you by chance reading a book or act. First, see the last line, or maybe the first line they'll say applicable between this date and this date. Otherwise, don't read it because you will go mad reading it. I'm telling you to go go mad reading it. But it is very interesting. Sometimes we have time to go through. Please go through. You are otherwise reading it. It's not that only subject is taxation. You are reading all other laws. The taxation, of course, is very difficult. Other laws may not be that difficult. Other laws may not have any problem. But it is really interesting. Revenue laws are all interesting, of course. And revenue are they are we are paid well because we know the revenue law. We are paid well that she might be paying. She might be getting. I don't know whether she is doing anything else else or not. i am doing of course practice even after even teaching at the shiram college i was practicing i was i passed out ca in june 70 no no nobody she was also not born you were also not born don't worry june 70 i passed out ca i'm 77 plus let me tell you ab koi lagte nahi hai wo meri galti nahi hai i'm 77 plus and i work 365 days a year 365 days a year a professional should not feel tired professional can never retires let me tell you and you are also going to be professional in some, or in a few years time or somebody may be joining the uh, after immediately after doing the completion of this point hey wo devika hai yahan par devika garg hai who happens to be the daughter of my partner also is she here no she is not she is also here in the law but she has not come today is a different thing but what i am trying to explain there is no shortcut to success let me tell you there is absolutely no shortcut to success it is very easy to pass lv but it is very difficult to pass ca mr jetli had been my student arun jetli in shiram college of commerce he said one day i also wanted to do ca but it is a very difficult course so i joined lnv He said, "Why did you join in me?" He said, "It is very difficult to pass in CA, and it is very difficult to fail in LLB. So that's why I joined LLB." <laughs> this is this is what he said. Is true or not? I don't know. They say it is very difficult to pass CA and very easy, and very difficult to fail in LLB. So I joined LLB. But let me tell you that that the wonders he did during his lifetime. You can imagine he was a lawyer, no doubt. he was a lawyer what a wonderful a bright student right from the you know hamare yahan kehte hain ke wo kya hote hain uch baat palne mein uske paw hain doodh ke paw jo bhi hain very good debater during his 3 years in shiram college of commerce never asked a penny from his family never asked a penny whenever he needed money he used to go for a debate and win 500 rupees 400 rupees for debate prizes you know and he 
studied three years by getting only this much amount everywhere, everywhere. Some have debated from one college, the another college, he shifting, and he was always the best debater, both in English and Hindi. And you must have seen him, don't you? You must have seen, heard him. Wonderful person. What a great personality. And the teacher also feel proud when he knows, I know that I taught him. And he was very, he's next door to my house also. Very bright person. And what kind of a finance ministry he held it. I don't want to talk about the new finance minister. That is not <laughs> my point. But I'm telling you the amount of amendment which brought he brought. He told me, look here, we want to redraft the law. I said, OK. There's a huge join us for redrafting the law. I was one of the members of the task force to redraft the income tax law. We redrafted it. We redrafted that law. And that, this has 298, this is not 298, 550 sections. Let me tell you, achha, sorry, I, I touched it. Oh, sorry. 550 sections, we brought down to 265 sections without any proviso. And it was simplified to a great extent. I knew it, I know it, that after a few years it will also become difficult because we will find loopholes in the law, but unfortunately, it has not seen the light of the day because whatever important provisions were there, they have been brought in the income tax act. Whatever important provisions were there. So we used to tell, we used to tell you this faceless. This is all because of us, the faceless assessment. I remember what happened is we were asked to go for faceless assessment. Uh, please uh, write for faceless assessment. Let us not have that assessment in a physical type of a thing. We three were sitting. One was the chairman of the uh, EY, Mr. Rajiv Memani, still happened to be my student. He was also with me. And the third, of course, was from Ahmedabad. And three uh, board members were sitting in front of us. Nobody was talking. You know why? Nobody was interested in bringing the law of faceless assessment. You know why? Faceless assessment, if it comes, you are not able to manage. Setting is not possible if it is faceless assessment. The department also was not interested in that, and we were also not interested in that. So I took a lead, said, do one thing. It is not possible to bring faceless assessment. It is not that easy. If at all you have to go for faceless assessment, let us, let us have some trial. Some trial, or maybe in one region, or maybe said you can go for it. We wrote to the CBDT chairman, it is not possible. CBDT chairman told us, Mr. Modi has called you, all of you, six of you. Uh, six of us went to him. He said, nothing doing. We have to bring faceless assessment. Come what may. He said, we'll have a lot of difficulty. He said, nothing doing. Nothing will happen. You, we will have managed to go for faceless assessment. The purpose of faceless assessment was to avoid corruption. You all know that. I don't want to say to avoid corruption. But in any case, it was a very bold step. Let me tell you, it is a very bold step. And now it has seen the light of the day. It is already there for two years now. And everybody is feeling a pinch of that faceless assessment. Because you know, lawyers, there is no problem. They have to go to Supreme Court, High Court. There is no faceless so far, so much. Uh, there may be uh, online uh, uh, hearing. But there is not a, that type of faceless assessment is not there. Here, though, you don't know what will happen. You have filed a return in Delhi, National Faceless Assessment Center. We'll take out a draw. We'll, uh, by, by, there's a computer. That may go to anywhere in the India, to any assessing officer. Nobody knows where it will go. That, that faceless assessment of mine may go to Bombay, may go to Chennai, may go to Cal Calcutta, or any other place, or maybe Jumri Taliya also. It will go there, because Jumri Taliya is very famous these days. <laughs> Whenever you talk about, when I were, we were seeing our time, that was what, what that program was. <laughs> I mean, Siani program. More of Jain was coming from Jumri Talai. I don't know where it is. Yes, so far. It is where? Bihar. Jumri But very famous. I don't know why this famous only for, uh, you know, saying for uh, this, uh, what you call radio programs. It is always Vahatata. So man, what I'm trying to say, that AO is doing my assessment. I don't know who is that AO. He is not corresponding with me. 
whatever correspondence I have to do, I have to do with the National Faceless Assessment Center online. And whatever correspondence he has to do, he has to do with the National Faceless Center. We have nothing to do with each other. We don't know what is happening. And there are four units in the case of faceless assessment. Assessment unit, verification unit, technical unit, the, the different unit, technical unit, verification unit, assessment unit. Ye unit kya karte? One is assessment unit, which I have told you, assessment unit. The assessment unit will do assessment. But if any verification of documents to be done, if a verification of any uh, uh, books of accounts to be done, that will not be done by the AO, assessing officer. That will be done by the verification unit. They will call, they will see all those records and make prepare a report, and that report will not go to the AO. He cannot write. That report will go to the faceless center. Facial Assessment Center will send that report to A. Now, if he wants some technical help, the technical help, he will ask the National Facial Center that I want some technical uh, uh, input from uh, for this purpose. He will not know where it will go. Then the Facial Assessment Center will send it to a technical unit. Technical unit will give us their input. That will come to Facial Assessment Center. That National Facial Center will then give it to what, the assessing officer. He will do the assessment. Now, this assessing officer knows that there is a review unit also. That assessment which has been done, if they are not satisfied, they will send that assessment order to the review unit, and review unit will see whether assessment has been properly done or not, and if it is not properly done, it will send back for reassessment. So where is, everything is faceless. Even an officer does not know who has given the technical input, Officer does not know who has given the verification done, who has done the verification, or who is going to do the review unit. And we also don't know. We have to say that at least personal hearing should be there. And without personal hearing, nothing can happen. So please allow us personal hearing. At that particular time, you know what happened in the personal hearing? You could not see the face of the AO while doing the personal hearing. I am there. He can see me, but I cannot see him. And then he is talking to us and asking the question. We are replying that guys, whatever show cause was there, we did. Now gradually, now we can see them. Now because they said, sir, nothing doing. We are not able to. You know why we are able to see it. I don't want to say anything in that. But what I'm training you, such a system adopted for faceless assessment. Now it is not that easy. Not that easy that you can handle people. And assessment to a great extent are being done properly. Ha, no faceless for international and for investigation cases. In all other cases, it is not faceless. Even the appeals have become faceless. Even the appeals have become faceless. So what I'm trying to explain, I'm saying that things have become different. The department knows about the assessee more than what he knows about himself. I remember when we were redrafting the law, they were making project insight. I said, what is this project insight you are making? He said, project insight, you please give your pen number if it is, your, if it is already done, show me your pen. I gave the pen number. And for the first screen, my name, my address, all that was there, I had nothing new. Next, how many assessment done? whether done under 143.1, self-assessment, or done under 143.3, uh, scrutiny assessment, 144x assessment, or reassessment. All were figures were there. What is my refund due? What is due to the SSC? Everything was there. I said, this is the record you have. What is the new thing? Next, next screen. How many FDRs I have? Every bank, they had the details of the FDRs. Every bank. I said, what about those FDRs? where there is no deduction of tax at source, because there is a TDS on income above, for, at that time it was 10,000, now it is 40,000. I said, what about that? If I make a FDR and the TDS is less than 10,000 at that particular point I was there, how will you come to know? He says, don't worry. Even those details are being submitted by the banks for those TD, uh, TFDRs where no tax has been deducted at source, and that has been linked, and we know that you have those FDRs also. Okay. I said, okay. Next screen. How many mutual funds I have, wherever I have, 
about nine mutual fund I was investing at that particular point of time. I saw one more, tenth mutual fund. I said, this is not mine. He said, this is yours. I said, I have not, no, no knowledge of it. He said, let me note down. I noted down that. At particular, that 30 years back, the pan was not that important. 30 years back, there was no, no connection, nothing was there online. I changed my address also. So there was a mutual fund in UTI, which I had deposited 20,000 under a growth scheme. And the balance it was showing was 2,31,000. I said, I don't have. He said, give me. I said, please give me the detail. And I noted down the rate, went to the UTI, you, you, uh, and got 2,30,000. I said, thank you, income tax department. <laughs> they know much more than I know. They know much more than I know. Last year, when I was filing a return, my man said, I can't file a return because I am not that computer savvy. I have made the form, but I cannot fill up myself. So I was, my junior was saying, I'm filing the return. Sir, you have shown everything, bank account, but one bank account it is shown, there is 300 some rupees as an interest. You have not shown that. I said, no, I have given all bank accounts to you. There's nothing left in it. Said, no, sir. Then he minutely read it. B-O-B, -B. means Bank of Budoda. Sir, there is something 300 rupees in the bank. I said, let me think over. Then I thought, I realized my wife expired about seven years back. There was one locker in there in Bank of Budoda. We had other, but Bank of Budoda, which were not, which were lying vacant. So I went there, sir, kindly uh, take away and let me close this. But at that particular time, they were taking FDRs for opening a uh, locker. So I might have given FDR, I don't know. I said, Chalo, de dije wapas. He said, sir, it is not yet matured. Kindly take it after some time. I forgot completely. I forgot completely. Then I realized, of course, there is one FDR which is there. Sent my man to the bank. He said, yes, it is there. And we are crediting your interest. But at the same time, you have a saving bank account. It is a, the balance is less. So we are deducting also. The balance is 330 rupees every year. It is credited to your account. Low, the minimum balance, you have to keep it. Otherwise, there is a penalty. And I got 28,000 rupees from there. I said, 300 has helped me to get 28,000 rupees. So what I'm telling you, they have information about you for everything, whatever you're doing. Whatever you're getting from Amazon, whatever you're getting from Flipkart against cash on delivery, COD. Credit card, absolutely no problem. Because when you're getting credit card, the account, it is accounted for. But if you're getting anything cash on delivery, they have the complete record of that, how much thing has gone to you. This is computerization. They are supposed to give the information whenever asked for. Whenever asked for. If it is high value transactions, or the transaction, now you can't go a transaction for more than two lakh at a time because of the restriction which has been imposed under section 269 ST. But 10,000, 20,000, 50,000, you are making, and day in, day out, people are buying, and young people are, of course, buying <laughs> on Webbage and Flipkart or any other thing without realizing that if it is credit card, it is a white money. But if it is cash, they know what kind of a thing is this, and they are keeping a keep complete record of these days, computer age. I went to, one day I was at, uh, standing at the uh, airport waiting for my uh, flight. The time was there. So I went to Chroma showroom. When I went to Chroma showroom, I bought something. Okay, so there's 1,800 rupees, some charger at that particular point. He said, sir, kindly give your phone number. Unfortunately, unfortunately, I gave the phone number. He said, sir, how's your iPad doing? How's your iPhone working? How is this they're doing? I said, I never bought from you. He said, sir, if you have bought anything from Chroma showroom anywhere in India, we have a complete record of 10 years. We have a complete record of 10 years, whatever you have bought from Chroma showroom. Meaning thereby, if they want, they can get the information from there. And they are supposed to give this information of high-value transaction to the department. 125 countries we are getting the exchange of information. The information going from here, they are exchanging the information with us. What is happening over there? Everything and know which bank account you have abroad, what kind of investment you have done abroad, whether your child is studying abroad, he has maintained a bank account there or not. Every information is with them. 
earlier they were not using but this is because of computer this is because of computer and nothing else i was remembering one day i asked for so i was sitting alone in the house i asked for domino i rang up domino and asked for a pizza he said sir what toppings you want mai ko itna zyada thodi pata hai kitna topping hai mere ko bachche i said give me two toppings sir theek hai sir you have not asked for garlic bread i said what mean kata you every time when pizza has gone to your head, there is a garlic bread also there and the, you ask for this also and you have not asked that cheese also what is this i said how do you know kata pichle 10 saal ka pura pizza jo aapke yahan deliver hue hain hamare paas record hai aap understand kar rahe hain main kya kehna chahta hu now black economy is going to be finished not because of mr modi but because of computer every record of every person they have whatever you have bought whether from domino whether from pizza hut or whether from any uh, swiggy or whatever you are getting for zomato ye wo they have complete record and whatever they want they can ask for those records so my point is be careful be careful don't go for any hanky panky things things are going to be difficult now every information they have with us with them वेरी इंफॉर्मेशन और जीएसटी का तो पता ही आपको क्या हो रहा है लॉर्ड टेल मी वॉट काइंड ऑफ इनपुट क्रेडिट पीपल आर टेकिंग विदाउट टेकिंग दी यू नो बी टू बी बी टू सी गुड्स आर सोल्ड टू सी कंज्यूमर एंड बिल्स आर मेड टू बी द बिजनेस वाई इनपुट क्रेडिट मटीरियल इज नॉट गॉन मटीरियल इज गॉन टू द कंज्यूमर कंज्यूमर यूज दैट कंज्यूमर यूज दैट वही डज नीड ही डज नॉट नीड एनी बिल समटाइम्स इज आप जो ना सर बिल लगेगा तो वो लगेगा क्या लगेगा जीएसटी लगेगा वो ऑलरेडी इंक्लूडेड था उसमें फिर भी कह देते हैं ताकि वो बिल ना ले ही इज नॉट गिविंग बिल टू यू ही इज गिविंग बिल टू दर बिजनेस मैन हु इज गेटिंग इनपुट क्रेडिट ऑफ एटीन परसेंट फ्रॉम देयर सो वट आई एम ट्राइंग टू एक्सप्लेन दे हैव कंप्लीट इंफॉर्मेशन अबाउट दैट ऑल्सो दीज डेज एवरी थिंग इज कंप्यूटराइज एंड द टाइप ऑफ चेंजेस विच हैव दे ब्रॉट इन जी एस टी एस्टॉलिशिंग डे इन डे आउट नोटिफिकेशन आर कमिंग day in day out how difficult i tell you for you also to teach the, uh, these days gst gst is becoming a very difficult subject let me tell you it was a different story altogether now the point is let me tell you at one particular time there was incentive to save tax whether it is direct tax or indirect tax you know the difference between direct and indirect tax short difference every tax has an effect immediate effect ultimate effect if the immediate and ultimate effect we call it impact and incidence impact and incidence impact is immediate effect incidence is the ultimate effect if the impact and incidence of the tax is on the same person it is direct tax and if the impact is on one person and incidence has been shifted to the another person everybody knows it is indirect tax clear now the point is at one time we had four type of direct taxes number 1 income tax number 2 wealth tax number 3 gift tax and number 4 what you call inheritance tax we called as we used to call it a state duty tax state duty tax four types of taxes and you know the income tax rate at one particular time was how much 97.5% you on one rupee pay 97.5% as tax after a certain limit these day the limit is 2 lakh 50 or 3 lakh whatever is it but 97.5% was the income tax how much did you save 2.5 paisa then if you gift that gift tax if you save and accumulate that wealth tax and if you die inheritance tax so every everyone wanted to you know save tax and then they are doing all those things which are happening now there is there is no wealth tax there is no gift tax there is a gift tax but that has been brought indirectly under section 56210 you know that sum of money exceeding rupees 50000 given without consideration to a non relative non relative not a relative iski bhi main story sunata gift tax was abolished way back on 11098 yaad kis jo ko gift tax was abolished in this country the reason given was you have already paid tax on your income the tax has already been paid the whatever income left to you you do whatever you like you spend it you accumulate it or you give to somebody how does it matter 
It is a tax paid income, so there should not be any tax. This was the point. Without realizing that Indian minds are very clever. People started taking gift from others. Ram Lal Suleiman ko gift de raha hai. Kitana national integration hai. Salma B is giving gift to Krishan Kumar. Have you seen notice that? They were taking gift from each other. You know what is gift? This country may gift di ni jati hai. Di jati hai. You take gift, you don't give gift to it. Nobody gives gift to anyone. Gifts are doi dete hai. Ek to parents, apne bachyo ko set karenge to gift deenge. Ek unfortunately the father-in-law. He has to make it or the daughter. Those are the genuine gift. Baki koi gift genuine nahi hoti. Koi genuine nahi. Lekin kitra national integration hai. Kriti Chawla and Sanna Javed. Aapas mein gift hai. Ye shuru hua. Humare leaders jo hai na. Log wo badalte. Ek to humare mahan neta te. On the birthday. That leader took a gift of 4 crore rupees. On the birthday, how much? Four crore. Question was asked, survey was done. Where from you got this gift? He said, my friends, relatives, my friends are there, my fans are there, they have given me a gift, how does it matter? And it is not taxable. It is not taxable. He said, yes, we know that law, it is not taxable. But let us come to one thing. Please let us know the name of the person who have given you gift. He said, I'll ask my child. He'll give you the name. A list was prepared, group wise, and everybody was given a ring that somebody will come to you, income tax department, you have to give this answer. Okay. They went to a particular uh, group of people. Have you made a gift to this person? Yes, sir, we have given a gift. Chodia, sir, our, our leader, we are fan of the person. We are really, we, she's very close to us. Mazani pata she or he. Muse nikariya. Chali. Very close to us. So, please sir, tell us the source of that gift. He says, agriculture income. And there is no tax on agriculture income. And we have given the gift out of the agriculture income. Where is the question of paying, uh, paying tax on that? Okay, okay. Okay, you can statement. They went to the second group of person. Have you made a gift? Yes, sir. What is your answer to that? Sir, agriculture income. But you don't have land. What is this? कहते सर हमने लीज पे ले रखी है वहां बोलते थे हिंदी में पटा बना रखा है वो पटा बनवा दिए थे कि हमने लीज पे ले किया दिस इज एग्रीकल्चर इनकम एंड यू कैन टेक लैंड और लीज एंड डू इट देयर इज नो नीड ऑफ ओनिंग द लैंड ओके थर्ड ग्रुप के पास गए हैव यू मेड अ गिफ्ट यस कहां से आया सर वी हैव टेकन अ लोन टू गिव द गिफ्ट लोन टू मेक अ गिफ्ट सुप्रीम कोर्ट ने भी क्लियर कर दिया वो द लोन टेकन टू मेक अ गिफ्ट टू योर फ्रेंड प्रोडली of law. You can't change the leader. The law was changed. And the law was brought under section 56.2 VA. What was? That you cannot take a gift of more than 25,000 from each person. For more than 25,000 per person, you cannot take a gift. If you take more than 25,000, it is taxable. Person went to the chartered accountant, what to do now? He said, tell on the TV, on my birthday, I will not accept more than 25,000. I will not take more than 25. You can give 25,000. I have no problem. 3, 000, 3 crore rupees were there, collected on the birthday, and nothing happened. Again, you cannot change the leader. The law was changed. The law was made was, you cannot take a gift of more than 50,000 in aggregate, whether from one person or more than one person in a year. Aggregate amount of 50,000. Again, the birthday came. Again, the question was, what to do now? I cannot take more than 50,000. It is the law. He said, don't worry. Tell them, I don't want to take any of the cash gift. I don't want any money. But you can give anything to me. You can give your jewelry. You can give your bullion. You can give me your share. Anything else. But not the cash. Crown of four crore. Studded with diamond, ruby, sapphire. Were put on the head on the birthday. Again, the law. You cannot change the group. The leader. Law was changed. The law was brought that 56 to 7. Up to 10 and 7. Look here. You cannot take a gift of more than 50,000 in aggregate in a year without consideration. 
Two, you cannot take a gift of movable property, specified movable property, valuing more than 50,000. And you cannot take a gift of immovable property, valuing rupees 50, more than 50,000. Again went to see it. क्या क्या करूँ अब तो वो भी गया वो भी गया वो भी गया मैं सोचा यार पढ़ते हैं सीएब के जब पढ़ते थे तब एक्ट को देखा था let me read the act again and find out the definition was given that you cannot take a gift of money move up a property consisting of shares and securities jewellery archaeological archaeological corruption drawings paintings sculpture work of art ये लिखा था इसे सच बर्ड ज्वेलरी लिखा है अब ज्वेलरी की डेफिनेशन है वहाँ पर ऑर्नामेंट मेड ऑफ गोल्ड सिल्वर प्लेटिनम और एनी अदर प्रेशर्स और सेमी प्रेशर वेदर सेट इन ऑन दैट और नॉट और और एनी प्रेशर्स और सेमी प्रेशर्स टू ये उसकी डेफिनेशन है मैंने कहा सर ज्वेलरी भी नीड गिफ्ट ले सकते लेकिन बुलियन की तो ले सकते तो यू टेक द गिफ्ट ऑफ ए बुलियन द गिफ्ट ऑफ बुलियन वॉज टेकन देन लॉ वॉज चेंज बुलियन को भी हटा दिया गया आप सोचा क्या करें सब कुछ तो कवर कर दिया एक मोटर कार छोड़ के सब कवर था अगेन द बर्थडे के अब क्या करें वो टू टू से डोंट टेक गिफ्ट इन योर नेम नाउ क्रिएट ए ट्रस्ट ट्रस्ट इज नॉट एन इंडिविजुअल ट्रस्ट इज नॉट एन हिंदू एंड डिवाइड फैमिली क्रिएट ए ट्रस्ट एंड टेक गिफ्ट इन द ट्रस्ट नेम उस साल वो भी निकल गया फिर लॉ बदला है और सेक्शन फिफ्टी सिक्स ऑफ सेक्शन टू क्लॉज टेन आया है ना उन्होंने लिख दिया कि रुकियर वेयर एनी पहले लिखा था वेयर इंडिविजुअल रेच ऑफ रिसीव इंडिविजुअल रेच ऑफ रिसीव फ्रॉम एनी पर्सन और पर्सन मोर देन फिफ्टी थाउजेंड और मूवेबल प्रॉपर्टी एक्सीडिंग फिफ्टी थाउजेंड और इमूवेबल प्रॉपर्टी अब लिख दिया वेयर एनी पर्सन रिसीव फ्रॉम एनी अदर पर्सन और पर्सन ए सम ऑफ रुपीज एक्सीडिंग रुपीज फिफ्टी थाउजेंड विदाउट एंड देन स्मूली जूट अब क्या होगा अब तो आप गिफ्ट एओपी के नाम पे भी नहीं ले सकते बिकॉज पर्सन इंक्लूड्स इंडिविजुअल एच ओ फर्म कंपनी एओपी बीओआई लोकल अथॉरिटी आर्टिफिशियल सारे तो कवर हो गए तो अब गिफ्ट बंद हो गई है अब गिफ्ट से रब लिखती है रिलेटिव से ले सकते या ऑन ओकेजन ऑफ मैरिज ले सकते उसकी तभी भी शादी नहीं हुई है अब तो समझ गया मुझे कौन है समझ में आया अभी भी स्कोप है the way the law evolves this is what i am trying to explain why the law becomes difficult why so many clauses are added in that the purpose behind this was that how it started we we were very good to remove gift tax because it is a paid already paid tax so why should we charge you but people starting misusing it they started giving gift to each other gift thodi dete the cash le lete the ke check dete the inko cash ki zarurat hai unko check ki zarurat hai cash unhone le liya check de diya aur cash ki zarurat kai bari property khareedne mein bhi hoti hai kai bari shaadi karne mein bhi hoti hai there are so many things so this was happening lekin law evolve hota hai this is all because of the brains which read the law and find out the loopholes in the law kaise kaise case supreme court se nikal jate hain You must have noticed, and Supreme Court खुद जजमेंट देने में भी घबराता है हिंदू अनडिवाइडेड फैमिली केस ऑफ ए डॉटर डॉटर वॉज ब्रॉट एज ए मेंबर ऑफ द हिंदू अनडिवाइडेड फैमिली एंड ए को पार्सनल विद अफेक्ट फ्रॉम नाइन नाइन टू थाउजेंड फाइव नाइन नाइन टू थाउजेंड फाइव से पहले एच यू एफ में आई एम नॉट टॉक अबाउट इंडिविजुअल इफ आई डाई इंटरेस्टेड इफ आई डाई इंटरेस्टेड इंटरेस्टेड यू अंडरस्टैंड विदाउट राइटिंग ए बिल माई प्रॉपर्टी विल गो टू माई लीगल एयर ऑफ क्लास वन Legal or class one are my wife if she is alive, my uh, my children, both sons and daughter equal equal, and my mother also if she is alive. Ninety percent को ये नहीं पता है कि mother is also class one legal here. Mother, whether dependent or independent, she gets a full share in the right in the in the property of the son. Father नहीं आता, father को नहीं मिलती. Mother, why? If they are alive. If both are not alive, wife. If the wife is also not alive, but uh, children. Daughter ka hak tha, equal right. But in Hindu undivided family, daughter was a member but not a co-partner. Co-partner means you can ask for partition, you will get the share of the actual property. The daughter was not there. From nine nine two thousand five, the law was changed, and daughter was given the same right as that of a son in actual. इंडिविजुअल में तो पहले ही था 
वो तो लीगल ईयर तो पहली ईयर बट इन अचीव सेम राइट एज दैट ऑफ ए सन वेर दर दॉटर वॉज मैरिड और अनमेरिड डॉटर गॉट मैरिड बिफोर और आफ्टर इट वॉज देयर थ्री केसेज ऑफ सुप्रीम कोर्ट दे देम सेल्व ओवर रूल्ड गिविंग डिफरेंट वर्जन when will become when will uh, if the the daughter was uh, uh, alive then only will she get or if the part partition has been done earlier will she get or will she not get three times the supreme court judgment was taken and they have not been able to understand what kind of a law should be made for this what i'm trying to say the law becomes so complicated now the question was asked after the death of the karta who will become the karta who will become the karta हम पहले करते थे एल्डेस्ट सन एल्डेस्ट सन करता होगा सन क्योंकि वाइफ कैन नॉट बी ए करता वाइफ कैन नॉट बी ए करता वाइफ इज ए मेंबर बट नॉट ए करता वाइफ इज कमिंग फ्रॉम अदर फैमिली वेन एवर देर इज अ पार्टीशन शी विल गेट दी शेयर बट अदरवाइज शी इज नॉट द करता करता मीन्स वन हू कैन आस फॉर पार्टीशन इज अ को पार्सनल सॉरी करता कह रहा को पार्सनल हू कैन आस फॉर पार्टी so now daughter the question came up suppose somebody died he has a daughter he has a son who will become the karta now the answer is eldest child eldest child not the son eldest child whether she is married or not married even if she is married she will become the karta of her father's hum she cannot become karta of her husband hum but she will become karta of her father's hum यहां तक डॉक्टर्स को राइट दिया गया दिस हैज बीन गिवन अब तो कोई और राइट भी दे दिया मोदी जी ने सबको पता है बट वॉट आई एम ट्राइंग टू एक्सप्लेन नाउ द डॉक्टर्स हैव मोर बेनिफिट देन इवन ए सन हैज और वैसे भी डॉक्टर बेटियां ही पूछती हैं बेटे पूछते कहा है मैं तो गलत कह रहा हूं आजकल के बेटे माँ बाप को नहीं पूछते डॉक्टर्स आर देर द सन इज अ सन टिल ही गेट्स ए वाइफ डॉटर मेज डॉटर थ्रू डॉटर ये मैं आपको बता दू ये लाल है कोई बुरा मानेंगे ये बैठे हुए कि यार हमें तो इन्होंने ठोक दिया मैं भी तो सनी हूं डॉटर रिमेन्स डॉटर थ्रू वॉटर लाइफ सन इज ए सन टेलीकेट से वाइफ ये लॉ है तो मुझे कहते हैं फिर तो बेटियां बहुत अच्छी होती हैं मेरी बेटी भी कहने लगी मैं एक लेक्चर दे रहा था मैंने कहा एक बात है मेरे को तो तीन बार फोन करते हुए बेटे बिकॉज माई वाइफ इज नॉट दियर तो माई डॉटर्स विल रिंग अप ऑफकोर्स मैं कहा कभी कभी वहां भी कर लिया करो जिसके साथ रहते हैं क्या बातें करते अब यू अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट आई एम सेइंग ये क्या विडम्बना है मेरे समझ में नहीं आती ये ऑल ओवर द वर्ल्ड है सास बहू की कभी नहीं बनी वो बहुत रेयर बनती है वो तो अलग बात है दी एक्सेप्शन आर ऑलवेज देयर आई एम नॉट से एक्सेप्शन आर ऑलवेज देयर बट मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम यू विल रीड और अगर आप उसके पास चले जाओगे वो क्या नाम है लड़की का वो जो जितेंद्र की बेटी है तो तो ये लड़ाती ही रहती है सारा दिन क्या नाम है उसका एक तक उसका काम ही यही है सास बहू सास बहू सास बहू सास बहू और कुछ करती नहीं हो एक तक कपूर वो एक दूसरे से पूछ रही मैं ये चीज बताऊं ये मेरे अभी तक समझ में नहीं आया वाई आफ्टर गेटिंग मैरिड द डॉटर इज नॉट इंटरेस्टेड उसके सास ससुर से फिर बन जाएगी सास से पता नहीं क्यों नहीं बनती है दो लेडीज क्यों नहीं इकट्ठी रह सकती आज तक मुझे भी समझ में नहीं आया सो so, इतना मत समझ लो कि डॉटर बहुत अच्छी हैं बाप के लिए अच्छी ससुर के लिए अगला सास के लिए अच्छी हैं ये मैं नहीं कह सकता आई रिजर्व माई ओपिनियन ऑन दैट वट एवर से सो वट आई एम ट्राइंग थोड़ा बहुत आसाना पड़ता है सर अगर वही तो आप कहेंगे बोर कर रहे क्या इंकोडेंस की बातें कर रहे हैं और कुछ कर ही नहीं कमिंग बैक एक और चीज़ मैं बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट बताना चाहता हूँ I told you after the section there is subsection, am I right? लेकिन ऐसे नहीं कई सेक्शन के जिसके नीचे सब सेक्शन नहीं होता नहीं होता देर आर मैनी सेक्शन विच डू नॉट हैक्शन दे हैव ओनली क्लॉज सेक्शन के बाद क्लॉज है सब सेक्शन नहीं है नाइनटी नाइन परसेंट सुप्रीम कोर्ट के जज भी को पूछो वो भी सेक्शन टू क्लॉज थर्टी वन नहीं बोलता सेक्शन टू सब सेक्शन थर्टी वन सेक्शन टू क्लॉज सेवन मैं बोलूंगा वो बोलेगा सेक्शन टू सब सेक्शन सेवन सारे लॉयर भी बोलते हैं सब सेक्शन जी नहीं वेन देर इज ए जेनरिक सेक्शन अंडरस्टैंड द वर्ड जेनरिक सेक्शन और ए कॉमन सेक्शन हेडिंग द सेक्शन इज कॉमन दैट सेक्शन नेवर हैज सब सेक्शन क्योंकि सब सेक्शन ऑलवेज टॉक्स अबाउट द मेन सेक्शन नाउ देर इज अ सेक्शन टू डेफिनेशन इन इनकम टैक्स एक्ट 
नाइन्टी परसेंट लॉस सेक्शन टू इज आर डेफिनेशन मैं ये नहीं कह रहा इनकम टैक्स में भी है और वो भी नाइन्टी परसेंट लॉ में सेक्शन टू डेफिनेशन कह लो उसको इंटरप्रिटेशन कह लो उसको टर्मिनोलॉजी कह लो नेम डिफरेंट है है सेक्शन टू ही सेक्शन टू डज नॉट है सब सेक्शन इट हैज क्लॉजेज बिकॉज इट डज नॉट टॉक अबाउट द मेन सेक्शन मेन सेक्शन द डेफिनेशन एक डेफिनेशन थोड़ी है सो मेनी डेफिनेशन आर गिवन इन सेक्शन टू सो देर इज नो सब सेक्शन देर क्लॉजेज सेक्शन टू क्लॉज थर्टी वन मीनिंग ऑफ ए पर्सन सेक्शन टू क्लॉज थर्टी फोर प्रीवियस ईयर सेक्शन टू क्लॉज सेवन असेसिंग सेक्शन टू क्लॉज नाइन क्लॉज है क्या है क्लॉज असेसमेंट ईयर सो सेक्शन टू सब क्लॉज वन एग्रीकल्चर ईयर सो सेक्शन टू डज नॉट हैव सब सेक्शन वो अलग बात है टीचर का तो मेरे को स्टूडेंट क्या कहता है मैंने पढ़ा थोड़ी मैंने लिख दिया पढ़ ले अपने आप की सब सेक्शन है कि क्लॉज है बट आई डोंट नो बट मैन ओवर यू हैव टू स्पीक यू आर गोइंग टू बी लॉयर यू हैव टू स्पीक यू हैव टू बी वेरी केयरफुल देर आर सर्टन सेक्शन विच डू नॉट है सेक्शन टेन इनकम विच डू नॉट फॉर्म पार्ट ऑफ टोटल इनकम है ना सेक्शन टेन आपके इनकम टैक्स इज देर वन इनकम विच इज नॉट पार्ट ऑफ देर सो मेनी इनकम विच डू नॉट फॉर्म पार्ट ऑफ द इनकम सो देर फॉर सेक्शन टेन डज नॉट हैव सब सेक्शन इट हैज क्लॉजेस Section 10 clause agriculture. Section 10 clause 2 share of profit from uh, uh, HUM. Section 2 clause 10 clause 2A share of profit from farm. Section 10 10 gratuity. Section 10 10. ये सारे section हैं. Section 10 13A house rent allowance. ये सारे section नहीं हैं. Clauses हैं. Section 10 clause 10. Section 10 clause 13A. Section 10 clause 2. ये सब clauses हैं. They are not sub section. They are two deduction from salary. Am I right? सेक्शन 16 में अब तो तीन हो गई है ना तीन डक्शन वन इज स्टैंडर्ड डक्शन देन इज एंटरटेनमेंट अलाउंस इफ इट इज ओल्ड रिजीम ऑफ कोर्स एंड थर्ड ऑफ कोर्स इज प्रोफेशनल टैक्स और टैक्स ऑन एम्प्लॉयमेंट सेक्शन डज नॉट है सब सेक्शन इट इज क्लॉजेस सेक्शन 16 क्लॉज आई ए स्टैंडर्ड डक्शन सेक्शन 16 क्लॉज टू आई एंटरटेनमेंट अलाउंस सेक्शन 16 क्लॉज 3 आई टैक्स ऑन एम्प्लॉयमेंट ये क्लॉजेज हैं क्योंकि नाम क्या है सेक्शन का डिडक्शन फ्रॉम ग्रॉस सैलरी डिडक्शन सो इसलिए उसके नीचे जितनी भी डिडक्शन आएंगी क्लॉजेस होंगी वो सब सेक्शन नहीं है आपने हाउस प्रॉपर्टी किया होगा टू डिडक्शन फ्रॉम हाउस प्रॉपर्टी इंटरेस्ट अब ऑन स्टैंडर्ड डिडक्शन ऑफ थर्टी परसेंट देना देना इंटरेस्ट ऑन मनी बोरो सेक्शन ट्वेंटी फोर में भी क्लॉजेज हैं सब सेक्शन नहीं है सेक्शन 24 फोर क्लॉज ए स्टैंडर्ड डक्शन थर्टी थाउजेंड और थर्टी परसेंट सेक्शन थर्ड ट्वेंटी फोर क्लॉज बी इंटरेस्ट ऑन मनी बोर्ड सो देर आर मैनी सेक्शन विच आर ऑफ जेनरिक नेचर विच आर ऑफ कॉमन नेचर दे डू नॉट हैव सब सेक्शन दे हैव इंडिपेंडेंट क्लॉजेस एंड अंडर द क्लॉज वेन दे हैव सब सब क्लॉज मैंने बोला था सेक्शन टेन क्लॉज ट्वेंटी थ्री सी मैंने सब सेक्शन ट्वेंटी थ्री सी नहीं बोला था वो एजुकेशनल इंस्टीट्यूशन के लिए वो भी जनरल मस्ट भी ऑल्सो अंडर सेक्शन टेन ट्वेंटी थ्री सी और मे बी अलेवन ट्वेल्थ दैट इज चैरिटेबल ट्रस्ट दैट इज अ डिफरेंट स्टोरी ऑल टूगेदर सेक्शन टेन क्लॉज ट्वेंटी थ्री सी इस क्लॉजेज के नीचे सब क्लॉजेज हैं आई आई ए आई टू आई थ्री आई आई वी आई थ्री आई ए बी थ्री आई ए सी थ्री आई ए डी थ्री आई ए आई वी वी मैं वी बोल रहा हूँ रोमन रोमन वी वी आई वी आई ए ये क्लॉजेज हैं उसके बाद ट्वेंटी थ्री प्रोवाइजर्स हैं और हर प्रोवाइजर के नीचे चार चार एक्सप्लेनेशन दे रखे फोर्टीन पेज सेक्शन टेन ट्वेंटी थ्री हाउ मेनी पेजेस फोर्टीन पेजेस एंड यू विल स्टिल नॉट अंडरस्टैंड वॉट एक्जेक्टली इज दिस सो वट आई एम ट्राइंग टू एक्सप्लेन द कॉन्सेप्ट समझने की ज़्यादा जरूरी है पढ़ाने के लिए तो एक्सपर्ट बैठे ये तो बढ़ाएंगे आपको लेकिन हम लोगों को होता है टू डिवेलप इंटरेस्ट एंड टू नो वॉट इज रियली हैपनिंग क्या हो रहा है हाउ इज द लॉ मेड वो तो आपको बता ही दिया होगा हाउ इज द लॉ बेड कैसे बिल जाता है और कौन सा बिल कहाँ जाता है ये तो आपको पता होगा लॉ इज ऑलवेज अ ड्राफ्ट लॉ विच इज कॉल्ड एज ए बिल लेजिस्लेटिव बिल इज ए ड्राफ्ट लॉ इट इज प्रेजेंटिंग इट इज इंट्रोड्यूस वेयर एनी एनी आइदर ऑफ दर्ली आइदर ऑफ द लोकसभा और राज्यसभा डिपेंड करता है कोई जरूरी नहीं सिर्फ एक जरूरी है मनी बिल मनी बिल ऑलवेज विल गो टू लोकसभा it cannot go to rajya sabha first and then it will go to rajya sabha rajya sabha is under an obligation to pass it they may put some questions it will go back to the lok sabha again if they don't agree it will go back to rajya sabha money bill i'm talking about income tax is a money bill gst was a money bill 
there are money bill which are brought only through lok sabha and not rajya sabha and rajya sabha is duty bound to either pass it or recommend it for reconsideration they cannot say nahi humne isko fail kar diya wo usme hota hai jaise abhi aaya ab to aapko ye bhi pata constitution amendment mein to two third aati hai uh, what you call ya women bill aaya to two third majority is required both they can could introduce from rajya sabha they could introduce from lok sabha that doesn't make any difference both of the houses should have to pass it and get the required majority then only it goes recommended to the uh, uh, what you call president to give its accept तो ये तो आपको पता है हर लॉ ऐसे ही बनता है नथिंग न्यू एवरी लॉ इज लाइक दैट एंड वी हैव ए पावर टू मेक लॉ एंड यू नो कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन यू हैव द शेड्यूल सेवन विच हैव थ्री लिस्ट यूनियन लिस्ट स्टेट लिस्ट और वो लॉ ऐसे ही बनता है मनी लॉ तो बिल्कुल ऐसे मनी लॉ तो ऐसे जो जीएसटी बना वो कहाँ से बना यहीं से बना लेकिन जी में तो आपको पावर ये आ गई कि वो इंटरमिक्स कर दिया GST can be levied by the central government. GST will be levied by the uh, uh, state government, or interstate trade and commerce only. GST will be levied by the uh, central government, and when there is an import, GST will be levied by the uh, central government, not the. This is why different power is given. Section 246, uh, Article 246A, AI, Clause 1, Clause 2, that is also there. That is also there. Then they have brought 269. They have brought many changes, but let me tell you. बेसिक कॉन्सेप्ट हमें पता होना चाहिए वट काइंड ऑफ ए बेसिक कॉन्सेप्ट इज देयर इन दिस कंट्री टू मेक द लॉ वो अपर हाउस है राज्यसभा ये लोअर हाउस है लेकिन मनी बिल तो लोअर हाउस में ही पहले पास होता है बाकी तो बोथ हाउसेज हैव टू पास इट बट एज द मनी बिल इज कंसिडर राज्यसभा हैज टू गिव इट्स एसेंट दे कैन आस लोकसभा टू रिकल सर्टन इश्यू आपने कभी बिल पास होते देखा है एक एक क्लॉज पढ़ते दिस क्लॉज से आए आए ना बोलते हैं ना वो उसको देखिए यू विल रियली एंजॉय वट काइंड ऑफ ए लॉ इज मेड ये लॉ हमें यू आर रीडिंग द लॉ बट हाउ इज इज फॉर्म नहीं आपके पास तरीका है गूगल में जाओ सब कुछ मिल जाएगा कोई दिक्कत नहीं है हाउ द लॉ इज फॉर्म डर यू डू ए रीड इट बट गेट टाइम टू रीड दैट डोंट गो फॉर दस ऑनलाइन गेम्स और एनी थिंग लाइक दैट गेट टाइम और ये बिटकॉइन के काम में मत करना सबसे खराब चीज बिटकॉइन है जिन्होंने किया है नो बडी हैज मेड मनी इन बिटकॉइन लेट मी टेल नो वन हैज मेड मनी देर आर ऑल नोशनल गेम देर इज नो एक्चुअल गेम नोशनल गेम डोंट बी लियोड बाय दिस बिटकॉइन और जंगली और रमी और दिस और दैट प्लीज डोंट वेस्ट योर टाइम रीड थॉरली एंड प्रिपेयर योर एग्जाम एंड देन योर लाइफ इज देयर full law of responsibilities then don't think you are enjoying the life jisne college nahi dekha usne duniya mein dekha kya hai maine bhi dekha hai and maine to padha hai bhi hai so what are different days that is theek hai you should but let me tell you enjoy your life hamare kehte hain zindagi nahi milegi dobara enjoy lekin time schedule hona chahiye har cheez ka study ke time not at the cost of your study do your study do your hard work and then Sky is the limit. जितने लॉयर्स ने पैसा कमाया है उनको तो सर्विस टैक्स और जी एस टी भी नहीं लगता है वो कहते हैं वो सर्विस रेंडर ही नहीं करते दिस इज वॉट इज चिदम्बरम साहब एज सेड एट वन पर्टिकुलर टाइम वेन वी वेंट टू हिम दैट वी आर इम्पोजिंग ए टैक्स ऑन चार्टर्ड अकाउंटेंट एंड नॉट इम्पोजिंग टैक्स ऑन जी एस टी ऑन दिस उस पर जी एस टी नहीं था सर्विस टैक्स था जी एस टी तो जेटली जी लाई इस कंट्री में जी एस टी आ ही नहीं सकता था पर मिस्टर जेटली ना हो he also knows he's a very close friend of uh, jetli uh, sir sandeep gar i nahi sakta tha because he has more rapport with the opposition he had good contact with the opposition and judiciary and that's why he could bring in gst and that was unanimous decision and gst council was also taking unanimous decision during his period after this there is no unanimous decision in gst council now somebody say something else or the other but he was a person who had managed to bring gst because congress were looking uh, looking for the gst for many years wo hamare kehne wale gabbar tax kehne wale to bahut bade aadmi hain unki baat to chhod do lekin otherwise doesn't understand what kind of a law has been brought in this country this law is a wonderful law i tell you theek hai difficult hoga but it has it has let me tell you reduced the 
what you call burden on the SSC. अरे 18 परसेंट देते हैं तो उसका इनपुट क्रेडिट भी तो मिलता है आपको कंज्यूमर को नहीं मिलता इनपुट क्रेडिट मिलता तो उनको तो एडिशनल पे अमाउंट पे ही देना पड़ेगा इज नथिंग मच एड ऑन पे ही है ना वॉट इज ऑफ दैड ऑन वैल्यू पर आपको जीएसटी देना है बाकी तो यू आर गेटिंग इनपुट क्रेडिट फॉर दैट प्रोवाइडेड यू आर ऑन वो ठीक है सो दे आर पीपल गेटिंग इट इसलिए नॉट गो हाई ठीक है वो एक ही बात करेंगे पुट जीएसटी सेम रेट टू एवरीथिंग इट इज नॉट पॉसिबल टू हैव ए सेम रेट फॉर जीएसटी फॉर ऑल आइटम्स नेसेसरी आइटम यू नो डेली नई नीड आइटम मे नॉट हैव दैट मच ऑफ बर्डन बट हाई वैल्यू आइटम इफ यू आर गोइंग फॉर अ बिग कार यू हैव टू पे जीएसटी पर वाई शुड नॉट यू पे जीएसटी ऑन दैट विच वी कैन अफोर्ड अ कार्ड फॉर वन करोड़ फिफ्टी लैख वाई कॉन्ट यू पे जीएसटी ऑफ फिफ्टी लैख ऑन दैट सो माई पॉइंट इज इट इज करेक्ट येस दे विल बी रैशलाइजेशन रेट्स will be brought down at one time nobody thought that we'll be able to get every month 1.68 crore visa a lakh crore as gst collection it has surpassed the income tax also surpassed the income tax also but the point is in case of income tax let me tell you one more interesting and then i'll stop let's uh, give me 5 minutes very interesting when we were redrafting the law you know the maximum rate of tax is 30% am i right थर्टी है ना इंडिविजुअल के लिए और बाकियों के लिए भी थर्टी है कंपनी के लिए भी अब तो बड़ा हमने कम कर दिया थर्टी परसेंट था वी वर टोल्ड दैट यू हैव टू इंक्रीज द रेट टू थर्टी फाइव परसेंट फॉर बिग पीपल रिच पीपल आई वॉज वंडरिंग आई सेड यू हैव ब्रॉड डाउन फ्रॉम नाइन्टी सेवन पॉइंट फाइव परसेंट अरे यार रहने दो ना मेरी शक्ल नहीं नजर आएगी तो क्या फर्क पड़ेगा नाइन्टी सेवन पॉइंट फाइव परसेंट से यू हैव ब्रॉड डाउन टू थर्टी परसेंट एंड यू हैव सीन द कंप्लाइंस how many people have become honest and they are all willing to pay tax why are you interested in raising it to 35 kehte niche wale to tax dete hi nahi hai to jo 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 hang lower hanging fruit hai uri ko maro ye 35% kar do humne 35% ka slab bana diya above 3 crore 35% up to 3 crore maximum 30 wahi wahi slab jo slab rate hai but 30% up to 3 crore above 3 crore 35 बड़े लो, रिच लोग आए उसकी भी बात बताऊं देन वॉट हैपन बजट बन गया रात को 12 बजे बजट प्रिंट हो रहा था द टेलीफोन केम दे लुक एयर रेट क्या फर्क बजट को रोक दिया गया किसी ने उनको बता दिया कि जो 35 परसेंट आप टैक्स देंगे जो 5 परसेंट एक्स्ट्रा लेंगे दिस टैक्स डजेंट गो टू देंट्रल गवर्नमेंट दिस टैक्स इज शेयर बिटवीन दी सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट एंड दी स्टेट का आपको पता ही है टैक्सेस आर शेयर दिस इनकम टैक्स इज शेयर बिटवीन द सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट एंड द स्टेट गवर्नमेंट तो ये तो टैक्स आपको मिलेगा ही नहीं तो आपको क्या मिल जाएगा 33 परसेंट सिक्सटी परसेंट तो स्टेट गवर्नमेंट ले जाएंगी हर बार डिफरेंट डिफरेंट होता है वो तो वो पे कमीशन वो सॉरी फाइनेंस कमीशन बनाती है बट वट एवर इज दिस ये होगा रोक दिया गया सर चार्ज लगा दिया गया अब फिफ्टी लैख टेन परसेंट वन अब वन करो 15 परसेंट अब टू करोड़ 25 परसेंट एंड अब फाइव करोड़ 37 सेवन परसेंट क्यों लगाया गया क्योंकि तो सरचार्ज शेयर नहीं होता है सरचार्ज गो टू देंट्रल गवर्नमेंट इफ दे रेज इट टू फाइव परसेंट इनकम टैक्स दे वुड हैव गॉट ओनली वन थर्ड वन थर्ड टैक्स एंड नाउ दिस इज द इंटायर टैक्स हु विल गेट सेंट्रल सो एक गवर्नमेंट दूसरी गवर्नमेंट को भी चीट करती है टाइम्स दिस इज द लॉ विच वॉज मेड ये लॉ बनता है जो मैंने आपको बताया और जो टाइम नहीं आनी तो मेरे पास बहुत स्टोरी सुनाने की फिर कभी थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर द पेशेंट हियरिंग चल थैंक यू